So this distance and this association of uh, this distant religion, but we're close to it, and the, the language, uh, we're not that familiar with it, but it, uh, we know it's associated with religion. So this um, religious man, he's a Muslim, but he's a pop singer, uh, made an album a few years ago in Senegal that, <clears throat> that was called, in English, was called Egypt. But it was a whole, um, it was dedicated to uh, Senegal's connections to the Muslim world. And it was highly controversial in Senegal because it's like, you are a pop singer. You are, let's say, you're um, the, uh, uh, you're the Justin Bieber of, of, of <laughs> Senegal. <laughs> Look at me quickly trying to come up with a name. <laughs> so you're the Justin Bieber of Senegal. Okay. How, Rolling how can you, um, Rolling somebody? Stone, Mick Jagger. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're the Mick Jagger of Senegal. How dare you be making a religious album? And the singing, the song he was singing here, is about Amadou Bamba, who um, headed, who, who founded one of one of Senegal's, if not the largest religious order in Senegal. And this was highly controversial that this pop singer should be making an album dedicated to um, to someone who is considered um, a saint by, by many Senegalese Muslims. So that's the, kind of the, um, the distance that uh, helps to explain the lack of, the, obviously there, there are uh, very orthodox people present in, in Senegalese Islam too, but it's, it's got a lot of um, contemporary, contemporary Sufi activity and it's a, <coughs> I think we have one more question okay. over here. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question that like Sufism is in Africa and in, in Asian countries like India, Pakistan and all those countries. But I don't know if it is in the, the Saudi Arabia or the Islam community. I can't hear you. The Sufism is in African countries, yeah. in, in Asian countries too, like in Pakistan and other uh -huh. areas. Yeah. But not in the Arab world, I think. In the, well, I, I don't agree with you. I think the, the biggest Sufi country in Africa is Egypt. Cairo is an extremely Sufi city, and uh, there are dozens of, of well-known awliya or saints buried in Cairo that, that people come from Iran to visit. In fact. Um, so Cairo is a... Egypt is a very... Excuse me? No, none of this is going on in Saudi Arabia. They, they wiped that out in the 19th century. You can't even stand for five minutes at the, the grave of the prophet. So, <coughs> well, I think we're pretty much out of time. Okay. And, um, but just to, cool. so you know, we have the room for another half an hour. And so if you would like to maybe engage Dr. Howard in some further questions, you know, should be happy to. I have a gift for you. You have a closer to you.